Hey everyone, it's David again. Today I got a very great chess game to show. And I this derives off the French defense, and it's a different variation, I think, set up a, a very interesting trap and really um hones in on the on weaknesses, and I think that uh in the French defense there's so many opportunities to kind of switch around and adapt your game. And I'll get into that. So I'm playing black and white starts off with pawn to e4. I respond uh, pawn to e6, and the idea is to eventually bring my pawn here to d5, attacking the center as well as having a defender. He develops his knight, and I do as I said. Now, if he were to take, and I were to take back, you know, I'm going to have more control of the center, and, you know, he's not really going to have that great of a game. At least, I mean, it can always go from here, and there's plenty of variations, but to me, black has a better game if he takes. So he decides to develop his knight, which I think is a good idea. I also, I'd also develop my knight, and not only am I defending this square, I'm also attacking. And you always want to pay attention to how many attackers and defenders are on your pieces. Right now, I have two attackers on his piece and only one defender, and I have two defenders on this piece, and he only has two attack, and he has two attackers. So right now, he needs to defend that pawn. So he does this. And then now I continue to with my development and bringing my pawn to c c5, and this is a really good spot. And this is the French defense is because this bishop right here is defending this. And if this pawn were to ever fall, I can easily bring my bishop here. And not only is this um, in a really great spot, it's also a very good development spot because now every single diagonal is and is in this in the center is being attacked. So that's the idea behind the French defense. So here's where the game kind of goes off in its own thing. He brings his bishop um, out just so he can castle. And I decide to develop my knight. I'm attacking the center even more. Now, this is where the game gets kind of interesting. Now, I could have castled, but it probably would have been better to do what he just did now. Because now my knight's pinned down. So I decide to counter this with my bishop. And the reason why my, my knight was pinned down is because my queen. So now, once he decides to castle, now, see, whenever someone castles, I've said this before, the biggest weakness for the king when he castles is this, um, this square on h2. If I could get, like, two attackers on this, he's going to be pretty much screwed because the king can't move anywhere. You know, he only has two places, to, one place to move. So you kind of want to hone in on weaknesses like that. So I decided to bring my knight to g4. Now, it looks like I'm sacrificing my bishop, which I kind of am. And the thing is, the dark square bishop for black is the best bishop he has. And then the light square bishop for white is the best bishop he has. So he would gladly take this. So he does. Now, the best move people maybe would say is to bring my knight and take back that way I can have more defenders on this but to me I don't want to have a knight and a queen defending a pawn you know I, I want to have um I'll show you so now that I bring my queen here to take he now this pawn right here only has one defender and he has two attackers so of course he's gonna go ahead and go along with this and once I go here he goes here but this is where the game is pretty much um, in a very crazy uh, situation. Now, what, let me explain. Right now, of course, he's attacked my queen, so a lot of people, you know, what do you think would be the best move? You know, maybe I can move my queen back, you know, attacking the knight. Or I can do something even more deadly, which is this. And I kind of have to move here, because if I were to move my queen in any other spot, he could bring his knight right here and fork the king and the rook. So I really kind of have to bring my queen here. So, oh, and before I get into this, the reason why this is such a really good spot as well is because, believe it or not, this knight right here is completely pinned down. And if you're asking why is this knight pinned down, there's nothing attacking it. Well, if this knight were to move, I could bring my queen up to h2 and it's checkmate. So he can't move this knight no matter what. And not only that, I'm also attacking this knight. So he, if he defends this, I'm going to attack this knight. 
And now he's going to be in a very tight spot. So he decides to def- defend his knight. And now this knight can't move. If this knight moves, it's game over. So he needs to figure out what to do now. Now, unfortunately, in this game, he decided to take. I guess he didn't see it. And that was checkmate. But let's go look over what would have happened. I was kind of looking at this and I was thinking what would uh, White's best move. And I think White's best move would probably be knight um, to e1. And the reason why is because he really kind of doesn't have a choice. Um, if he... And here, let me just show you how the game would continue. So if I were to attack his knight right here, he could just come right here. And now... I'm in check. So I kind of have to do something about that. You know, I can't castle. I don't want to, I can't move my queen. Um, you know, if I move my bishop here, he can just take. So I'm really in a bad spot. If I, let's say, attack his bishop, you know, he can just simply take back with this. And now the game, I'm in check again. So, you know, now I'm pretty much going to be back here. And or the only move I really have is to kind of, if I were to move my, maybe if I move my bishop here, that'd be okay. But, you know, now it's kind of pinned down. So right now, this is how the game would have played out if he played a different move. But either way, Black's in a pretty good spot, in my opinion, because he has pretty good control of the center. And I can castle at any time, and I can connect my rooks on these two open files, so... You know, eventually I could castle. You know, he he may do something like, I don't know. You know, he may bring his queen up or something. Once I castle. You know, the game would go in here and eventually I'd like to bring both rooks right here. And then that would be my idea. So right now that's how the game would have played out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Alright, and goodbye.